Here are four valuable tips that will help you connect with multi-generational buyers. Why flexible living spaces are so crucial. Parents taking care of kids or kids taking care of parents or kids taking care of parents and grandparents. That makes that property so much more appealing. Multi-generational living is on its rise. And it, of course, it is super crucial to understand what these families are looking for, especially if you're looking to sell your property. Of course, if you're new here, I am Kira Ford. I'm your real estate cheerleader. My channel talks about taking ownership of where you live and how you live and how you can invest in yourself through real estate. Here are four valuable tips that will help you connect with multi-generational buyers. Step one is creating flexible living space. So when you are having multiple generational families living in one house, having different areas that feel like living space is crucial and key for them. They look for homes that have multiple bedrooms, in-law suite, or even like finished out basements. But I will tell you this, we don't have basements in Dallas, Texas, so or in Texas in general, just because we have clay soil and that clay soil expands and contracts significantly. So basements would not do good here. Why flexible living spaces are so crucial is because of course, it's living space. When you have multiple families in one area, no one wants to fall on top of each other. So to have a house that creates that, uh, that vibe, that energy where you can have multiple people there and not be on top of each other is like crucial and ideal for them. Tip two, accessibility and amenities are one of the things that people look for as well because you need ramps. I mean, typically when you have multiple generational, you have, you know, parents taking care of kids or kids taking care of parents or kids taking care of parents and grandparents. And so ramps would be an example that uh, these types of buyers will be looking for. Wire doorways are another way. Light switches to be a little bit lower. Stepless showers. They also really, really love big backyards or areas where they can just get out of the house because typically if it is multiple generations and like I said, the example of, you know, kids taking care of their parents and their grandparents, it's best for people to be able to go outside, be inside, but not feel like once again, they're on top of each other. Backyard retreats or roomy decks are ideal because that's a way where they can actually like spend quality time and family time outside of the house, but not too far from the house. Before jumping into the last two tips, of course, I'm curious, do you think that, you know, multiple generational living will continue to arise in Texas? Please comment below. I would love to know your opinion. And of course, if you have any real estate needs, buy, sell, or invest, go ahead and schedule a strategy session where I'm able to help you from where you are to where you want to be. Let's get back into it. Step three is local amenity services. So when families are out looking for a property that will meet their criteria when they are multiple generational living, is they're gonna look at healthcare facilities nearby, schools, parks, libraries. They are even gonna wanna make sure that a recent amount of retail because that makes that property so much more appealing because they know that they don't have to go too far to get the essential needs that they will have for all the families in that home. Also remember like, you know, if there are retail things nearby, it's easier for people to deliver things. It's easier for healthcare people to come by and check on family. So it is super crucial when it comes to those amenities, guys. So if you are one of those people who wanna to sell to multiple generational families, I would definitely say, think of that before you purchase in a certain area. And then tip four, privacy and noise control. Of course, when you do have that many people living in one house, they do care about privacy and reducing noise is ideal because not everyone is on the same schedules and you wanna make sure that it's convenient for everyone to live in that house peacefully, <laughs> peacefully. Because when me and Jake live in this house, I mean, we need it to be peaceful. <laughs> I just want you guys to recognize the privacy that you would need in a household for people to feel safe, but also feel like they have their own life. Showcasing features as in like, there is different entrances to be able to get into the property, soundproof, multiple story layouts, 
to address everyone's needs at their will. In our next video, we will talk about estate planning and why it's super important to have an estate plan when you have more than one property. And since we talked about family opportunity, mortgage, and then now we're talking about multiple generational living, which, you know, sometimes you have one or two or three or maybe even 10 of those homes. You want to make sure that you do have an estate plan that works well with that. I trust that this video has brought you value. If you have any questions moving forward or would like to jump on a free 15 minute strategy session, make sure you sign up so I can once again help you from where you are to where you want to be. Oh my gosh, there she is. It's Kira Ford. Kira Ford, you don't know what? what? You've never heard? Oh my gosh, she slays everything.